friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda, a regular human who needs to make dinner. And I have a feeling that a lot of you guys are regular humans who need to make dinner. I also have a feeling that we don't all just like sit in our kitchen looking fabulous with the makeup and the sexy outfits, okay? It's like the middle of winter, I'm cold, and we need some beef and barley soup. Are you down? Let's do this. So before I welcome you into my kitchen, I would say hit the subscribe button because that'd be awesome. It does your girl a solid. I'm trying to make some videos here. It'd be nice if people were around. You feel me? Okay, let's get into this. Oh, and one more thing. This is kind of the first like what's for dinner with Amanda Muse on my channel. But the reality is I'm cooking all the time because I have humans to feed. Uh, and on Instagram, at Amanda Muse, I do a lot of this just more like by the seat of your pants kind of stuff. I feel like that's the way a lot of us are preparing meals. Like we, we get groceries, we try to meal plan the best we can, but at the end of the day, we're trying to make some food that is tasty, healthy, and not so hard to make. You feel me? Okay, let's jump into this. You may see me with some AirPods on because I love to podcast while I cook. And if you didn't know, I have my own podcast, The Sandwich, fitting considering we're cooking today. And it's all about layered conversations, good juicy convos. And season three is gonna be coming back real soon. So head over to iTunes or click the link below to follow along and catch up on some of my favorites. And one of my favorite episodes, I was actually just listening to the other night, partially because I really miss Dean, he's my husband, is Mind the Gap. And we talk a lot about, in that particular episode, about having a big age gap in our marriage. He's 15 years older than me, and some of the dynamics that play in, pros and cons, so it's pretty fun. Okay, without further ado, well, let's cook. Today, we are using the Instant Pot. I picked one up a few weeks back, still trying to decide if it's my new favorite thing. I love doing hard boiled eggs in it. Uh, we've done a few roast style dinners. We love ribs in, in the Instant Pot. Um, and so this is my first go at a beef and barley soup. There's a recipe that Dean found and we're gonna follow it and uh, follow along if you want, click down below. But let's do it. Here's the recipe, littlespicejar.com. Beef and barley soup, Instant Pot version. So let's get down to business. I like to start by taking all the ingredients and putting it out before me. Um, that way everything's within reach. I find as a busy mom, I've got two kids four and seven, I was gonna say five, because he's gonna be five pretty soon. Um, I just need everything here, because I'm gonna get distracted, it's like natural. Stew meat, salt and pepper. Mm. Onion. Garlic. Stewing beef, we have the mushrooms, the large potato, the carrots, the onion. I'm missing celery, so there's no celery tonight. Oil, salt and pepper, uh, the beef bouillon. I had asked Dean to get the liquid, but I, he only got me chicken bouillon, anyway. Pearl barley, we've got the bay leaves, the garlic. You know what, I know I should use the other garlic I have, but I don't wanna waste this, so anyway. I'm gonna use these little suckers, hopefully. Um, and then thyme leaves. We have the Instant Pot. Let's get cooking. So I need six cups of the beef bouillon. So I'm gonna use this. Heating up some water over here, and I'm gonna put the packages. While that's cooking, and I'm gonna place the cooked meat here, I'm gonna add the six cups of hot water to my bouillon. And here we go. Hoping you ring my telephone. 
browning. We've got the other half sitting. Bouillon is done. I think it's time to start chopping. Mushrooms have been added in. Got a little bit of the browning from the meat on the bottom, but that's okay. Just flavoring. I was a little worried about the brown bits at the bottom, but the recipe actually says that you want the mushrooms to pick up those little brown bits left by the meat. So that worked out well. This looks good to me. It's picking up the brown bits from the bottom. They're getting nice and brown, so now it tells you to transfer the mushrooms to the same plate as the meat. There we go, got the mushrooms and the meat. Not because I wasn't as prepared, normally I have everything cut up, but I'm filming and doing everything. Um, I'm gonna cut up my carrots, onions, and pop them into, the, um, into this bowl. So we're doing one and a half of carrot and one and a half of onion. Normally, if I had the celery, I would do one, one, and one, but what we got. It's like, let the waterworks begin. Oh, cutting onions, boy. I need to get one of those things where you just chop an onion like some other way. Damn. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the, the mixed and chopped vegetables. So onions are nice and translucent. They also have a bit of that, um, the meat, you know, the residue that was here cooking before. Now I'm gonna add the garlic, cook for 30 seconds. All right, so that's about 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna add back the stew meat and the mushrooms. Time to add the spices and the broth. We've locked it up, put the valve at the top for pressure cooking, pressure. We're gonna go for 16 minutes, it's on high. There we go. So there, it's cooking. So that's gonna cook for about 16 minutes and then we're gonna let it do a natural release so the pressure comes off slower. And then we add in the potato and what was the other thing? And the barley, hello. Let's see, so we add the shredded potato and the barley and then allow the soup to cook on high setting. Um, so we hit the slow cooker button for one hour until the potatoes and barley cook through. And that's it. You can serve with chopped parsley and a loaf of crusty bread or crackers. So that's perfect. Okay, awesome. I've been using a bunch of these beeswax. Um, I think these ones are called earth wraps. I bought them, I was at a market recently and someone was smell selling them, smelling them. I do like the smell, it's a nice honey smell. Anyway, um, do you guys use these? Do you like them? So far, so good. I thought it would be a little bit more high maintenance to care for them, but basically you use them, and then when you're done using them, you rinse them with cool water and some nice natural soap, and that's how you maintain them. So I've only had them for a short time, so we'll see how long they last, but so far, they're adorable. I feel really good about the environment, and my fridge looks really cute with all these little wraps inside, so bonus. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if I've set this up properly, but I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna pop this potato in here. This is a mandolin, and there is a grater right over here. Did you see that? If you guys are like, yeah, girl, we know what a mandolin is. Forgive me, this is new to my arsenal here. Um, and we're gonna give this a go. So, see if it works. 
Now, for those of you that know how to use this thing, you're probably dying at my setup, but it's working, so a little bit of excess here. I should have YouTubed this before I decided to include it in a video. And here's what's going on in there. So you're getting that shredded potato, so that's good. Okay, so after eight minutes, pressure has come down. I can now open this. Ooh, that looks good. Damn. Looks very nice. So now what I'm gonna do is add the barley and the grated potato to this mixture. So let's go ahead and do that. Do I need two hands? I might. Oh, maybe not. One. And naturally a grated potato is going to have some liquid, so it's all good. Potato water never hurt anyone. Give this a little stir. And we're going to slow cook this for one hour. And then that's it. It's all done. All right, so this is done. Also, my children are home, so bear with me with the noise. I've released the pressure valve up here. The little pressure point is down, so we can open. All right, out. Let's open this up. Rest it. So now, the most important part of all of this is to taste it. I want to see how it tastes. Got a little piece of meat in there at least. And there it is, looking delicious. This is very much real life. I, uh, I'm a little bit post-workout because in the hour that it cooked, my family hadn't come home, so I did a home workout. I tell you, I'm talking about mass maximizing the time here. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I feel like, hey you, don't eat a button. I feel like the barley is a little bit tough. I'm gonna get my husband to taste it. Okay, so the husband tasted it and he agreed the barley's a little bit tough still. So that was an hour slow cooker, um, slow cooker mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do for another 30 minutes and I think that that should be fine because I don't want the meat to get all like mushy. Yeah, because it's a little bit, it's a little bit chewy. Okay, I'll come back in 30 and let you know. All right, so I cooked it for 30 extra minutes on the slow cooker and it's exactly what it needed. So I'll take out these little bay leaves and um, it was a great recipe, highly recommend it. And that was our first installment of What's for Dinner with Amanda Muse. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, leave me some comments below what you'd like to see me tackle next. I do enjoy the Instant Pot, however, I will say it ain't instant. Like this is a pretty in-depth recipe, however, such as life. This wasn't a speedy, quick through, get your dinner done. Also though, because I'm filming and trying to do everything at the same time, it did take a little bit longer. Um, and then naturally, if you're following a recipe and not recalling something from memory, it's also gonna take a little longer. I can see with something like this, doing a little bit of prep in the morning, getting your vegetables all chopped would take a bunch of time out of this process. Um, so that's something to think about too. Um, there's definitely ways to like make it quicker, but it's falling in line with my trying to just be more prepared with food, have nice meals made for the family. All right, that's it guys. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.